Hey, we're in Arlington, talking to Jeff Cook. Um, Jeff, uh, so you were born and raised in Arlington. Uh, you're friends with Dave. Yep. Went to high school with him. Well, what, what's, what's the high school in Arlington, I guess? Well, it was Hilltop Catholic. Hilltop, that okay. That was the combination of St. Henry's, which is no longer there, St. George, St. Canice, and St. Joe's, none of which are there anymore either, including the high school. Okay. So where do where do where, I guess like where do people go to high school in? Well, the only Catholic high school I know now is either Central or Oakland Catholic or uh, Seton LaSalle within the city that I know of. Mm -hmm. So it's been okay. pretty much condensed to those three. Yeah. Um. So uh, you uh, you you work with the city, mm -hmm. right? Um. And tell me what you do, I guess. Oh, now I'm on the streets program supervisor, but I've been with the city for 32 years. Mm -hmm. Uh. Probably about 15 of it was driving a truck. Mm -hmm. Five of it was uh, laboring. And uh, 18 months of it was in council. And yeah. The last six have been back as a streets program supervisor. Yeah. First part of it, I was uh, asked by the mayor to make sure that every city street was on a salt rod. Yeah. And that was quite an endeavor because there was quite a few that were never even on a salt rod. Yeah. So, but uh, I think once we got all that together and communicated that with the divisions i think our salt program has actually been doing pretty good and you got it done you got everything's on the on the salt run. we've got it done and that's yeah. one of the things that i was like we we're talking about this earlier but yeah it's like a good job that like if you do it right nobody notices right. and then and like as soon as something goes wrong everybody's complaining but there's it's you know on the days when you do it right people just don't don't notice and you got that right we had, should actually we got some you know thank you today it was funny that you mentioned something like that because we very rarely get thanked for anything that we do it was yeah of course, it was a special project that we, you know, helped the group out with, and they sent a thank you email back. But you're right, it. What kind of special know, project? Like, yeah, I guess. I well, I'm that. also on the special events committee. Uh huh. So I think a group had a cleanup or whatever it was this past weekend, and we helped them out with some gloves and some bags, and and then what happens afterwards? is DPW will come in and uh, remove the bags or debris, tires, whatever they had picked up. Yeah. So they actually just sent a thank you back to us, you know, for helping them out with that. What kind of group was it? Was it like a what just was neighborhood? It? Just a neighborhood, you know, group of volunteers. They got together, and matter of fact, next this weekend, the twentieth, twenty first, it's probably a citywide deal. There's gonna every neighborhood will have groups in them. And what so were they cleaning up? They'll be cleaning all the debris, you know, special areas where you know possibly where they dump. Uh, but you know, mainly since the winter, they'll be doing the streets and cleaning the sidewalks and such, and then. I'll be the middle person with DPW to make sure that everything gets picked up before it ends up back on the streets by being broke, you know, the bags and such. So. Yeah. But it, it's, it's interesting, you know. you know. The streets are like, that's like the, those are the veins and the arteries of, of Pittsburgh. I mean, like if those, those and, are the, and, that's the most important part. And quite frankly, the problem. But yeah, but. Some of them are so tight, it's, it's almost impossible to get through, but. It's because the way yeah. Pittsburgh was built and there's all the hills and... Topography. Yeah, the it's topography great. and great. also the the history, you know, we the way Pittsburgh evolved yeah. and the way Arlington Arlington's evolving also. Right. Um, and, and yeah. I, you know, the the good thing about Arlington, I think, with it evolving, we just got the new restaurant across the street. Dave's been, a, you know, a fixture for years now. But it, it's close enough to Southside yeah. that it's not... On, you know, we're right on top of them, so we don't have to put up with all the, you know, shenanigans that go on there every weekend, yeah. unless you want to go down there and visit. Yeah. yeah. So it's, and it's, it's great. there. It's and actually, far. you know, we're getting a lot of students who have been, you know, coming around here. And I, I mean, they're like uh, pre med students yeah. from Duquesne. So it's, it's, it's actually starting to look better here, you know, every year we go along. Yeah. No, I mean, I like it. It's a nice neighborhood. There's, a, you know, a lot of nice views, too. Yeah. So. I've I mean, said actually, that's a beat about Pittsburgh. We have, we have uh, City Fit, which I play softball for too. It's basically f only for city employees, but we play right up here at the fort, uh -huh. and it got a you know a great view of the city, and so and it, it's been used more, uh, you know, recently than it ever has. So you know. So you play baseball? That, that softball. softball, softball. Yeah, it's co-ed. Okay. Okay, co cool. Yeah, that's the reason. All... That's the only reason I'm still playing. Trust yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like a, it's a city. It's a city. All the like only city employees can do it. Correct. Okay. Correct. And what do you, what, what position do you have? Nah, it doesn't matter where we're, you know, I try to, I, I'm the manager, coach, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So, you know, where somebody doesn't want to play, I usually play. It doesn't, it's no big deal. But no, that's fine. So it's not, it's not super competitive. Right. It's just, you know, we're, we're there to get a little bit of exercise and have a good time. Do you play against yourself? Like you play against yourselves or? Yeah, all, it's uh, in-house, all, uh, I think we had five city teams last year. 
Okay. So do they split fun. it up by like that'd be cool if they if they split it up by like I guess like each group. Well, we basically what we did is we let I think it was the housing authority in the uh, PWSA, who's a separate entity, yeah. mean, but they're considered under the city. They brought their own teams in because you know they work together. But the rest of the city, police, fire, and public works were all commingled. Yeah. And then we just picked you know pick teams off the table and no, that'd be great though yeah, I, I like fun. that yeah finding out like that's whether fun. or not the how you know pittsburgh housing right. versus like pittsburgh city like yeah it's just like i said it was a good time to get out and enjoy and you know yeah no i, I agree time. and are you, you guys are close to the river too or yeah well i mean it's you know it's not that far away it's from no. the south side but yeah. you know well there are a few people I would imagine go down to uh, right down 18th Street. They can get into the river and get access to the river and fish down there. But it's not actually my cup of tea. But yeah. you know, well the fish are new too. Like the the like the, the waterways have back. come a long way. Yeah. yeah, there's no doubt about it. So uh, they're actually edible now. So you yeah, know, the groups have done a good job with the river. Yeah. What about Arlington? Uh, like, made you want to stay? Uh, I think part of the reason is that. I know everybody. I yeah. mean, you know, so it's always a nice thing to be able to go out and, you know, stop and talk and chat or wave or whatever. Yeah. I just don't know that it, that exists everywhere. So, no, it definitely doesn't. So it's, you know, as a matter of fact, when I pulled up, I seen Dave and the rest of everybody that, you know, you don't see on an everyday basis. So uh, that's basically the main reason why is just, uh, you know, the camaraderie of yeah. the people that live here. Like in cheer, you ever see cheer, like the Cheers yeah. themes on like, right? that? Pretty much it, Sometimes right? There's actually the, the last local place is up there, and that's a, uh, that's a uh, St. Henry's license, it's a members, you know, place, but that's uh -huh. like the last local uh, drinking place back left up here. But, oh, okay. Yeah, so. Cool. And yeah, so that's like, I guess your Cheers, cheers pretty much, bar, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. You know. Golf every Monday out of there. They have a golf league that goes to West Mifflin and golfs. You know, do you golf? Are you week. in the golf league? Or? I try. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. That that uh, to want to get good, that takes some dedication. But no, we have a good time and we get out and enjoy ourselves. Uh huh. But, well, that's important. Yeah. I mean, that's all that makes the neighborhood is the people and yeah. And you know, I think we've come a long way. Things have changed. There used to be shoe stores and you know things that you know have gone by the wayside. I mean, this is not. It's not a big enough area to where there's thousands of people, but it, it keeps, you know, Denise's business going. Dave, of course, obviously, he's been in business for 30-some years, so yeah. used to have the local hardware there. I think I believe a guy from New York bought that, and he wants to put in a uh, deli, so. That'll be great, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, so, you know. And what about your time as council? You were councilman, right? Or, yeah, 18 okay. months. And I filled the term. They had an election. I filled the 18 months of, uh, you know, a councilman that, uh, took another job as a district justice. Yeah, and you liked and and did you enjoy that it? Was, that was that was it was actually fun. I mean, yeah. although it's scrutinized and you gotta you know deal with everything. You know, my oh, philosophy yeah. there in council was if you gave five people a hundred dollar bill, yeah. two of them would have said I wanted five twenties. Yeah. So that was basically my yeah. <laughs> unfortunately my take on council, but you know nevertheless we tried to get as much done as we could, and I was neighborhood oriented. Yeah. You know, with the cleanups, with the asphalt, with the patching, getting streets paid, you know, so. Yeah. It, it, was, it was fun, you know. Unfortunately, I lost, you know, after 18-month term, but I still stay involved, and I'm the president of Southside Athletic Association, which technically is named Southside Athletic, but it's, we play right down here in Arlington, about three blocks down, so there's about 140 kids down involved the fort, in it. Or? Yeah, beyond the fort, it's Southside Park. I saw that part, right? Right behind the firehouse. Got it. You know, we got about 140 kids that are involved with that. So uh, it's good to keep them. And this will be the first year that we'll have two Pony League teams. Uh -huh. I think the good thing about that shows that our program is working. Yeah. For the fact that, you know, most places struggle once kids get 13, 14 to even get them to participate. Yeah. And we're actually keeping them and they're still playing, staying off the streets. So to me, that's a sign of how something is working, not how many games you win. or. No, that's you know. working incredibly. That's like very impressive. Right. So, you know, we we meet on a regular basis and we have decent coaches and, you know, kids seem to enjoy themselves. They're not over competitive, so uh, it all seems to work out in the long run. Cool. Well, thanks for being on the show. Not a problem. Um, yeah, you're. Thanks a pleasure for inviting to talk me. Yeah. Thanks. All right, bro. Cool.